Hey guys, you know what time it is for me. Of course, it is time for my Diet Coke break, and it has been much too long since I have shared my Diet Coke break with you guys. I'm really sorry about how the schedule was last week. We had some family in town, as I'm sure a lot of people did. And um, now it's back to the grind. It's Monday. And I know that on Friday, I did not get to show you guys what I thought of my products from last Monday, from the last Mystery Monday. So I thought today that I would tell you guys really, really quick what I thought about those things that I tried last week, and then I'm going to pick a few more things this week um, and let you guys know what those are going to be. So the things that I picked last week, and I'll link to that video below, but the things that I picked to try out, um, I picked three things. The first thing I picked was the um, from Fresh. It was the Soy Face Cleaner, and it looks like this right here in the pack. And um, I think that I had tried this before because when I got in the shower and started to use this, I remembered how much I did not like the way it smelled. Um, as far as I know, as far as I can tell, it cleans okay. Um, you know, it's a good face cleaner. I didn't have any, you know, issues with that or anything. But I just don't like the way it smells, and I know that it's soy, and, but when I, it just, it smells like, and that's what it smells like to me, it smells like soybeans. I always had a garden and everything, my mom planted soybeans, and this just reminds me of how those things smelled whenever we would pick them, and we would like, you know, shell peas and beans and whatever. All of that fun stuff that I used to do. But um, anyway, it just smells like those beans, which just turns me off. I don't know why. I just, I do not like the smell of this. But as far as I know, as a facial cleaner, um, I guess that it's okay. Then I tried the Hourglass Veil Makeup right here. And this time it was in the color Ivory, which was a perfect match for my skin tone. It was perfect for me. It's the perfect color that I would need to buy. I really like it. I like the consistency. I really like how it feels on your face once it dries. It's very soft. It stays all day. So at some point when I need to get another foundation, I would definitely like to be able to get this maybe when Sephora has another sale. I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend this. Um, the third thing I picked last week was the third sample that I've had of this, of the Righteous Butter from Seb and Glory. It looks like this. <clears throat> As you can see, I did not even open this to try this last week. I just... I didn't need, I didn't, I just didn't reach for the body butter as much as I probably should have. Like I said, things were just kind of in a rush, so I was kind of like in and out of the shower, you know, get dressed, let's go, that kind of thing. I didn't take a whole lot of time for pampering and lotion and, you know, stuff like that last week. Um, the good thing is I've already tried this uh, twice, and I've already had a full size of this, I think about a year ago, and I used the whole thing. So I can go ahead and honestly tell you that I know I like this. It smells really good. It's just the original scent from Soap & Glory. Um, it's a really good body butter, so I definitely recommend this. It is thicker because it is a body butter, but this time of year, that's what a lot of us need with dry weather, dry skin, all that good stuff. So those are the things that I tried last week, and um, so that's what I thought of those things. Now... I'm going to show you guys. You all know I have my Victoria's Secret bag that I keep my things in. And it had kind of, it's kind of gotten down to um, a minimum in here. There's really not that many things left in here. But I've actually sadly acquired more samples, like packet samples. And then after this, I've got an entire box full of bottles and um you know like small bottles and you know things that are bigger than like a packet but they're still a sample and those are the things i'm going to start on next but i'm going to go ahead and reach in and we're going to pull out three things for me to um to try out this week and see if we can get these knocked on out of here so that i can try um those other things okay the first thing i pulled out is two um of the eyeshadow primers from urban decay and it's just the little um packets like this this is the color, um, this one up here is the color Sin, and this one is an anti-aging one, it says. So that's what they look like on the back there. So I'll try these. You know, it's an eye primer. I'll give these a try this week and see how those work underneath um, my eyeshadow. And let me go ahead and pick out something else. Okay, the next thing I'm picking out is from Dolce & Gabbana. It is um, foundation. It is called The Foundation Perfect Matte Liquid Foundation. And it is in the color 100, which it says is natural glow. So that is what the packet looks like here. I've never tried any makeup from Dolce & Gabbana. So Gabbana, Gabbana. I don't know how you say that. I'm sorry. But um, I have never tried any makeup from them. So I'm kind of excited to try this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a, um, I'm going to pick a third thing out of the bag and see what we have 
for this week. This is from CK1, so Calvin Klein. This is the CK1 3-in-1 face makeup with SPF 8 sunscreen, and it looks like this here. Um, I've also never tried foundation, or I don't think any makeup. I have tried a mascara, but I have not tried any other sort of makeup from Calvin Klein, so that's what it looks like here. It's just in this little packet on the inside, and it says that I have gotten the color 300, which is sand. So, it's like sand is this color right here, which is good. Um, I was afraid it was going to be one of these darker colors down here, but sand looks like it would probably be pretty good for me, either um, sand or fair, and so I got sand, and um, that looks like it would be a pretty good match, so I'm going to try that one day this week. So, just to recap really quickly, I've got two eye primers from Urban Decay that I'm going to try out, and then I have two foundations from brands that I have never tried before um, as far as foundation. So the first one is the Dolce & Gabbana, and then I have one from Calvin Klein. So those are the things I'm going to be trying out this week, and I will let you guys know um, on Friday how these worked out, if I liked them, if I did not, if I would purchase them, if I would recommend you guys to go out and buy them and spend your hard-earned money on these products, or if I think you should just save it. Um, but anyway, again, um, I'm really sorry about the schedule last week. I'm trying to get back on schedule this week because I have a lot of videos. I have some haul videos that I want to do with um, some different makeup and um, beauty things. Also some clothing items, things that I got and picked up. Um, and then I'm waiting on some things to come in the mail that I ordered on Black Friday. So all that's coming up. And then I have some other videos to do also that I really want to show you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with my channel, even though... I didn't have a great week last week as far as videos go, but thank you so much for hanging in here with me. I really appreciate y'all, and um, I hope that you all have a really fantastic week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.